I've got two quick, easy, and affordable DIYs for you. The first is super practical storage for your bathroom, for your kitchen, and even for your crafting items. The other, a lovely high-end wall decor piece that is so versatile, it'll work in any room for any decor. I love using mason jars to store items on my bathroom counter. But to give these a high-end look and add decor to my small bathroom, I'm going to spray paint the lids to match my decor. Now, since I use a lot of brown and oiled brass in my bathroom, I'm going to spray paint these a dark brown color. Then once dry, go back over them with a very light coat of gold. Now, obviously, use whatever color works for your room and don't shy away from a brighter color if that's going to give you the pop that you need. Now, to finish these, I'm going to add a pull knob to create a handle. Now, I chose these orange knobs to add a pop of color, but with so many options, you can really use these to your advantage. So here's what I overlooked. As I got ready to adhere the knobs, I realized that I had painted four regular sized lids, but I actually needed a wide mouth lid for the quart size jar. So I quickly painted it and moved on. I used hot glue to attach the knobs, which I think is sufficient, but feel free to use E6000 or super glue. Just be sure to not overdo the glue because you don't want it spilling out between the knob and the lid. Now these not only work in the bathroom, but you can use them to store things such as tea and treats in the kitchen. And if you're looking for craft storage, especially in a small space, these can store smaller craft items and can be placed on shelves as decor. Coming up is that versatile wall piece that'll work in any room and has so many options to make it truly yours. If you're finding this to be a quality video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and consider joining the Koala Crew by subscribing to my channel. Now this wall decor piece was inspired by a project by one of my favorite creators, Caitlin at Crafts by Caitlin, and her channel is linked below. You'll start with these small crates from the Dollar Tree. A note that these crates come in two different sizes, so if you want crates that are uniform, keep that in mind. You can arrange the crates in any type of configuration that works for your space. Caitlin did a block of six, but I decided I wanted two sets of three that were offset. To make sure the offset was even, I marked the halfway point on the crates that would be in the middle and then applied both wood glue and hot glue to affix the crates to each other. Have you noticed the critical error that I made? I'll let you know in a minute, but let me know in the comments what you think it is. Once the glue was dry, I painted the crates using water to thin down some paint to use it like a stain. These are going in my bathroom and to match the darker wood shelf in there, I used a combination of brown and black thinking that the brown would be too light. In hindsight, I wish I had started with just the brown because it ended up being too dark. I added more brown which helped and also added more water. Pro tip, discovered by trial and error, Use the back side of your project to test your paint. Now, once the paint was dry, or at least close, you'll add color to the inside of the crate. Now, I'm using some orange fabric that I have had forever. You can use scrapbook paper, so the possibilities are endless. And when Caitlin made this, she used book pages, which looked really nice. I did decide to make a template and I honestly was surprised that I only had one fabric piece that needed trimming. Uh, of course, it was the one piece that I put in after I had applied the adhesive and before I actually tested the piece. Anyway, I used a light coat of Mod Podge to adhere the fabric and would recommend the same for paper, although make sure it is a really light coat to keep the paper from curling. You could also use a glue stick with paper. I then added a second coat of the Mod Podge, especially around the edges to make sure the fabric stays in place. The final step is to add greenery. Caitlin used mini potted succulents from the Dollar Tree, but I decided to use these that I already had on hand. I used a good amount of hot glue to hold them in place, and I love how this looks. Now here's the critical error that I made. My original idea was to have two matching sets of three crates that were offset and they were going to go above my toilet. But when I put them together, I realized that I had put the second set together essentially backwards. I played with some different configurations, which I wasn't unhappy with, and I also considered separating them and placing them on the opposite wall. In the end, I decided to have a more abstract look above the toilet, 
And honestly, I might actually like this better than my original idea. I hope this video provided inspiration for your own DIY storage and decor. If you thought this was a quality video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. Join the Koala crew by subscribing to my channel and turn on notifications. So you don't miss another video on organizing and storage DIYs that are quick, easy, and affordable. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you have a quality day.